Fact, guys take showers more frequently than women. Fact, the average shower lasts 13 minutes. I'm Brian, welcome to What's in the Box, the show where we show you and tell you what's in the box. And I've always wanted to smell like a man. Thankfully, with the help of my physician, Dr. Squatch, I can get just a little closer. The Dr. Squatch soap subscription starts at $7 a month. It comes with handmade soaps made in the USA with no harsh chemicals. Not only do they send you soap, but they've got tons of add-ons like colognes and shave kits. Let's man up and safely use our scissors to open the box. Man stuff! That's a fancy box right there. Shows a, uh, a portrait of Dr. Squatch right on it so you know who you're working with. This is a cute little box, it's got a little latch, look at that. This is a little latch, manly little latch. They put the littlest of latches on it so you feel big when you open it. Let's see what's inside. First thing I'm noticing, lots of cardboard fillings. Gotta, gotta observe what they're packing with. Looks like good material. It's referred to on the site as gift box crinkle paper. All right, I'm getting a set from it. It smells very woody, which is nice. Okay, our first soap bar is Bay Rum. It smells kind of like a, uh, almost like a citrusy kind of cocktail. Uh, like maybe if you just got an old fashioned, that's the kind of smell like an orangey kind of scent. I like that, it smells, it smells like uh, maybe I'm on vacation. All right, our next soap is Pine Tar. That just sounds manly. It's an exfoliating bar made with oatmeal and sand. Um, getting a very strong pine scent from it, which makes sense because it is Pine Tar. Next up, we have Nautical Sage. Wow, that smells, it smells a lot like you're at the ocean. It smells like an ocean breeze, which is great. Um, Almost smells like it has some lavender involved, which can be manly. All right, for the last of our soaps, it looks like we have Gold Moss Scrub. Has kind of a, uh, a woodsy, oaky smell, like uh, maybe how you'd want to smell if you're drinking some whiskey or maybe, you know, bench pressing orphans that you just saved from a fire. Looks like there's one last thing in here. It's a, uh, some kind of a wooden square. Looks like it's a, a soap holder that you can just leave in your shower to hold all of your manly soaps atop of. Look at that, fits all four. Not to be overlooked, of course, you have this awesome box to hold everything in, or maybe just keep it and use it for other things. Maybe keep uh, your power tool, well, one power tool in it. So we got some pretty cool soaps. My personal favorite is the MVP of cleanliness, Pine Tar. Big thanks to Dr. Squatch for sending us the soap description box. Comment below and tell us what your favorite was. You can get your own at drsquatch.com or click the link below. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We're doing a monthly contest to win a What's in the Box grab bag curated by us. Click the link below for more details. If you like this episode, please consider becoming a Patreon. Every dollar you donate helps us to bring you more boxes. I'm Brian, this was What's in the Box. Come back next time to explore more boxes with me. Thanks for watching. The next part of her plan. But the fool doesn't give up its secrets without a fight. And one year on this ship might be more than even Debbie can handle. So it looks like it's a bit of a trilogy here. There's fortune 